This week on The Virtual Boys, there's no play like it. You're listening to the Virtual Boys Podcast, a podcast of four friends dedicated to discussing and analyzing all things Nintendo. You can find us online at virtualboys.xyz, as well as on your social network of choice. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some feedback, and share us with your friends. Oh, and please enjoy the show. It is Thursday, October 20th. This is episode 37 of the Virtual Boys podcast. I'm David. Get N or get Switch. Accompanied today with James. We would like to switch. Skylar. It's like two we use duct tape together. And Jordan. Switching is good. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta switch. switch. Gotta go switch. Gotta go to that NS. Yeah, NS, not NX, but NS. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch. Not NES, not SNES, NS. <laughs> How is that to start your morning, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so literally eight hours ago, we got the Nintendo Switch. I still want to call it NX. I probably always will. But Just anyway. call it NS. It's close enough. Yeah. So eight it's hours ago, they released Switch. a trailer. I'm sure all of you listening to this episode of the podcast have probably at least seen it. If you haven't... Uh, go see it. Absolutely. It's like three minutes and 30 seconds. It's, it's not a, too much of your time. <laughs> yeah. So, <coughs> yeah, it's, it's... We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> um, let's talk about what we've been doing this week, what games we've been playing. I'll go first. Um, I was, I've was i been playing Banjo-Kazooie. I'm almost done. I'm literally at the end after clearing everything else, and that stupid quiz show just kills me. Rare you guys just wanted were to make all it, watching me. Rare just wanted to make it the hardest thing imaginable. Oh, it's yeah. not too bad. It's not too hard. It's just the it's grunty questions are ridiculous. It's like r- random. Yeah, completely random. Also, I've seen you die like on two or three of like the fighting challenges. So, yeah. So and they're, they're times. So it's hard. Like Yeah, it's difficult. You're supposed <laughs> to do it multiple times and learn the That's true, answers. yeah. I, I agree. You are supposed to do it multiple times. Well, yeah. Repetition is key. But if you don't even know the questions to begin with, then... <laughs> You're supposed to go talk rough. to your sister. Just uh, go yeah. talk to your sister and record yeah, all guess, of her answers. I'll just take pictures of all of them, I guess. <laughs> the answers? Yeah. Yeah. Get the, get the answers because the online. the Gruntilda questions the really gross ones where you give really weird answers they're unique to every single save file so you, you won't have the same answers between two different files I mean I guess there is a chance that there would be but it's There's based off of, of when you do it so there, there are, are ton. tons of different combinations so you have to talk with uh, Gruntilda's sister what was her name Blintilda Bruntilda Bruntilda She's the nice witch. She'll heal you if you're hurt, and she'll give you answers to these questions, and that's how you're supposed to figure it out. And then you also have to be paying attention throughout the rest of the game to figure out, like, oh, this is from this level, this is this music, this is this character, etc. Right. It's ridiculous, but it's also really fun. I'm just really glad that I finally beat the winter area of the tree. Jordan saw me lose all of my feathers trying to get the stupid last four notes. But anyway... I digress. We'll talk about Banjo another time. That's what I've been doing and playing the Sun and Moon demo, but we'll talk about that. You need to get through Banjo too. 2E first, though. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll work on that. So anyway, that's what I've been up to, playing lots of Banjo-Kazooie. Love the game. Who'd like to go next? Uh, I guess I'll go next. I've been playing... I played through Bayonetta 1 and 2. We found the dual disc, me and David, at GameStop the past week. I was like, this is the only way I'll buy this game is if I find a physical copy with both discs. And there it was. Usually sells for online for like eighty to ninety dollars. I got it for forty five, so total that's a steal. great deal. Yeah, a steal. Half off. Yep. So I already played through both of them. I love this. I love fighting games a lot, and like the gameplay is so good. Um, I recently wrote a couple of reviews. They haven't gone up on the website yet for both of the games, but we're currently um, in editing process. Yes, they they editing should be process. up by the time this episode's out, but but. Uh, 
those games are so good. If it wasn't for the story, I would definitely probably give these a 10. But, yeah, the story is a bit off. The story yeah. is like, eh. <laughs> but Especially then again, the what fighting game has a really good story? You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to find one with a really good story. Super so. Smash Bros. Brawl. No, nope. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> so, Subspace Emissary Hill. I'm just kidding. To be <laughs> fair, Subspace Emissary. What else do you do other than what they did? Like that's that's, that's, I mean, that's it's really a, it was a story. Yeah, yeah, they didn't they didn't have any. What, they the way they handled it though was really well. It was really well done. So, but this but that. that's like a mix of all characters. But that is just one character who probably should have had a better story though. They could, yeah, but they only had one person writing the story for both of these Tommy, games. Yeah, 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 so <laughs> it's like every other list. Of like the music had like I don't know, 10, 15 people working on it. Then like the the lighting and everything. They had three people for like Bayonetta's face or something like that working on just her face. And only one and guy <laughs> on the story. One guy on the story. Hideo Kami. So, so, but I mean, I, everything else that game is so good. The story is the only part I had any like difficulty or problems with. But the battle system was fun, in-depth, tons of button combinations, tons of weapons for you to choose from that vary up your different combos and how you attack and everything. The enemies in Bayonetta 2, if you attack them in certain ways, become weakened, and then you can do even more things to them. Like, it's it's just about mastery of this battle system. That's what the whole game is, and there's enough depth to it where it doesn't feel like a chore. Mm. You're always finding new things That's out, good. which is awesome. And just the amount of effects, like which time is cool, slowing down, combos, and then doing the, uh, the super moves or um, what do they call this? The special mode in Bayonetta 2 where you like enter witch, like this witch over clock power or whatever, where you go insane and just murder everyone. <laughs> like there's a lot of really cool stuff in these games. And it, for a fighting game, it's probably one of the more in depth that I've ever played. So. so which one do you like better? The first or second one? Second one for sure. Like, yeah. the like first one was phenomenal, it. but then they even one up to themselves with the second one, which I thought was really hard. Well, and do. the second one isn't as uh, fan service I guess you could no, say. No, it's not as risque. The story's risque, better yeah. as well. You don't have to worry about too much there. Yeah, the games are rated M for our listeners this out there true. if you haven't heard about Bayonetta or Bayonetta 2. So, discretion well, is definitely advised. I think most people have heard about Bayonetta now through oh, Smash, Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, right, that, yeah, that's true, Smash. but the games are rated where M. where she came and, from. Yeah. Ask your parents for permission first. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, maybe skip a few of the cutscenes in the first one. I Second will s- one, maybe not, but the first one. I will sure. say that in the first one, there is this enemy who you like kill with a Trojan horse, but like you like, she starts moaning all the all Yeah, <laughs> you get like very, whipper or whatever. <laughs> very, it's very, very sexual undertone. It's kind of uncomfortable, but yeah. They kind of got rid of it in the second they one. They took, so. they got rid of the enemy in the second game, so you, there's none of that, which is nice. But if you like the beat 'em up, it's yeah. great. It's a great game. Play. If you like the beat 'em up genre, then play this game. That's all I can say. It's definitely going to be a classic for the ages for collectors going back to Wii U era. That's true. It's going yeah. to be a hard one to get. Too. Especially the dual. Glad disc. I grabbed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad we grabbed it when we did. Unless if they port it to the NX, which is a possibility. It's Platinum possibly. is on I mean, their Platinum list. Is on the list. Um, Do you think they they make a uh, Bayonetta three anytime soon? I hope soon? they fix Star Fox. I hope they make. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool. Before they fix, they Star need Fox. to fix Star Fox. Before. They're not gonna fix yeah, Star Fox Zero. They're no, not, they can't. They're not gonna touch that. They need to. Mimoto won't let them. I don't. I don't oh, think so. Curse you, Mimoto. <laughs> but wasn't there another game you were playing, uh, Dark Siders? Oh yeah, I played a little bit of Dark Siders. It's not really to Zelda E is my opinion. There is it, a dungeon. There is a dungeon, or but the, the, dungeon. the way you fight feels very beat em up. Yeah. And there's like a, this level up armor system to and me, all this stuff. Dark Side is more like God of War. Yeah, I'd say so. More like more God of War y than Zelda, but whatever. That's just my opinion. It definitely doesn't replace Zelda by any stretch of the no. imagination. If anyone has ever told you, oh you know what? You should play Dark Sider. That'll that'll you know Hold you over until Zelda comes out. Don't don't trust them. It's not the it's same not game. Zelda. <laughs> so, and for some reason, the screen keeps flickering when I'm moving around in the game. Like all the colors just distort on the screen, and like little lines it must have show been up with the and port. like or maybe cut. I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand why. It's just it looks like a mess. But mm. hey, weird. Camera's a off too, but anyway. The, like, yeah, the camera is off. But it's THQ. It's THQ so what else you. could you? <laughs> what else could you ask for? Cool. Uh, funny. Well, cool. Thanks, Skylar. I guess I'll go ahead. 
So all, all my week has been playing Color Splash. That's the main game I've been playing. I still haven't beat it. I wanted to say I had did. I'm at the last area where I'm about to go fight, fight Bowser. So I almost beat it. Um, so here are my thoughts. It's good. It's a good game. Not great, but good. You can find moments where you're enjoying yourself, you're having fun. The battle system is, it's not obviously as good as Thousand Year Door or Mario 64. But it is 10 times better and improved upon than Sticker Star. I'm enjoying, I want to use my cards. I, I'm having like these interesting battles with enemies. It's not as tedious as Sticker Star was. I love the Toads. I wish there was more ver variety in them though, but their dialogue is just so good and so witty um, that, oh, you remember that Toad from that one area? Ah, oh, he's funny, you know, like, you can, you can like point out some of the Toads and you'd have some um, good memories about that. Uh, I, I like the, the paint aspect of it, coloring the, going 100% and coloring everything. That is an awesome uh, concept, and I, and I think they did a really good job of it. And the game is gorgeous. Probably one of the better looking games on the Wii U, I, I think. At least with the aesthetic and everything. Does the game reward you for painting 100% on each level? Or is it just kind of um, like a completion thing? It's more of a completion thing. Hmm. Uh, which, you know, it could reward you, but I don't see how it would. Maybe with a special card, I suppose? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. But... I'm fine with just having that little yellow flag that comes up in most Mario games. You know, when you 100% of the area, you don't really get anything. Yeah. Uh, and then one, one, one more thing, the music is phenomenal. Give it, give, it, give it a listen, especially the battle music. That does not get old at all. It is, it is amazing. So that is... I. When I write my review, I'll, I'll give it a definite score, but I'm thinking in between a 7 and 8. Okay. So average-ish? No, that's good. That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Average is like 5. And that, that's, uh, mm. that's all I've been <clears throat> playing. Okay, well, cool. Thanks, James. Jordan? I don't think I played games this week. That's Lame. fair enough. Dunno. You're off the <laughs> podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> that Team Rocket shirt. Hand it over. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did play the demo. I oh, guess okay. I did that. I played oh, okay, the demo okay, for okay. Sun and Moon. Fair enough. We'll probably talk about that later. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Well, if that's all that you've done, I guess that ends. Well, business. Jordan, I guess Please, we live. cut our segment <laughs> short. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Leave it's it all alone. Oh, oh, crap. I need to get Volcanion to soon, too. Volcanion. Still have a few, <laughs> like a week or so left. But anyway. Oh, no. No, no it's like, like two days. Like today. <laughs> oh, wow. Time flies oh, when you're uh, already the 20th busy, of October. Yeah. Yikes. Well, let's uh, jump on in and switch gears ah, ah, to uh, the okay. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> the What's Nintendo, it called? The, the Nintendo Switch. The NS. The NS. The NS. <laughs> I'm still going to call it the NX, probably. I just like that. It just rolls off the tongue. But it doesn't roll off the tongue because you have to make a sound. Yeah, anyway, NS works. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the trailer was pretty cool. They started off with this nice overshot of a town in Twilight-ish. And the Everyone guy was sitting on his couch playing dude, Zelda. My, my favorite was like his expression while he was playing games. He's like... Like, just kind of like staring at in awe into the, into the TV. He's like... They had some really... Uh, the people that the actors were portraying as, they were really rich. Yeah, they were really yeah, rich. Really cool. yeah. Yeah. Okay, can, uh, before we go on, I just want to say that girl who was playing Mario, she just like is playing Mario, and then she just looks over, and then their friends are on the, over the patio. Oh, hey, friends. Let me just go over to my million-dollar apartment, over to your million-dollar patio, and then we'll... Anyway. We'll just play some Meryl. <laughs> like, downtown New York. Yeah, downtown New York. What? <laughs> Uh, she's crap. very well to do. I, I 
that they all are. Well, did you see how big her TV was? Yeah, yeah. it was a pretty big TV. It was huge. Her house was super furnished, but anyway, so... But yeah, we, you can go back to what you're talking about. But the, the characters, the... I, well, characters. I guess the, the people in the trailer were really kind of fun to watch. The guy They're with like his, like, blank people, stare that was, like, really like, enjoying the game. I pay cool. play in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> maybe with a maybe with a spoonful of peanut butter in one hand. Ah, relatable. <laughs> <laughs> See? Not relatable. That's what they're going for with the Switch. It's Rich relatable. people and peanut butter. Good. <laughs> No, no, you're supposed to be in these massive pads with oh yeah, really, really nice I'm clothes, playing. massive TVs, a dog the size of a horse. Oh, my gosh. Go go-karting <laughs> yeah. regularly and while then play playing basketball. It's like, I'm playing like Mario Kart while I'm karting. <laughs> <laughs> this is very dis- Motion dis- controls. <laughs> this is very hard. <laughs> They're back. <laughs> the only normal ish people were the super jocks playing basketball. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it, find it funny. Let's stop playing our game of basketball and play a game of basketball. Outside. <laughs> in, in, on a bench. Like, who t- who's going to take their. NS whatever console out to this bench, stick it there, and then everybody play with these little tiny bit, nubby controller bits. Like LeBron just, James, <laughs> LeBron James. It just looks so for painful. Three. For three, yeah. yeah, like maybe, maybe that, maybe people will do that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about the nub sticks. They seem those look painful. Just tiny. on their own, they seem a little too small. The joystick's almost in the center of the stick. Right. Yeah. Like it's way out there. And so it's mm-hmm. really hard to reach for. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of splitting them up to be multiple controllers. However, being able to take them off the tablet and put them as the actual controller for... Um, that. that. That's pretty cool. That like, is nice. Yeah. You do have access to real controllers with these. Yeah, there, right. you saw a pro controller, and that made me like jump up and down a little bit on the inside because I'm like, I, I love yeah. the pro controller. I, I loved it until I saw there were no notches on the the D pad, like the control stick space, like the GameCube controller has with the control stick. It oh. gives you more edge oh. and more control over your. It's to go exactly straight. Not D pad. Right? You mean the the, the yeah, analog right. stick? The, contr- analog stick the yes. analog stick. The D. The also, D pad's different too. Yeah. It's not. It's not the normal D pad. It's a split one. I guess yeah. they don't care about their trademark anymore. Well, the split ones are better. Oh really? I think so. Oh okay. You can input like I, d- directions better for never, like more than I, one. When I play PS4, I never use the split D pad anyway. So it's like having multiple buttons. Huh, okay. Um, one one thing I did notice about the controllers. So when he slot them off the tablet uh-huh. and slotted them into the other thing, the to have it kind of be more of not the pro controller itself, but right. more to emulate the pro controller. Yeah. There were little uh, LEDs. There were four LEDs next to each side. And they were at the top, meaning green. Which means each half of the controller has its own battery that you have to keep charged. Oh, no. So you have to keep charged three different items. Hmm. Hopefully the hub keeps the tablet itself charged. I, I, I don't but, see why it wouldn't, but yeah. But you do have to also be concerned about the battery for each side of the controller, each part of the controller. Perhaps the center <coughs> has a battery inside of itself. Or it can plug in to the wall or something. Then why would it be focused on showing the battery of each one? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. I, I'm sure more details will unravel as I just you know, hope the it's like, few yeah, months. Yeah, it's like... Personally, I don't think I'm ever going to detach the things from the tablet. I'm just going to leave them on the tablet and use my Pro Controller at home. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Yeah, it does give you a a good reason to own a Pro Controller now. Right. Unlike the Wii U. But it's still a nice thing. I guess guess we're on the go. Oh, man. I just don't know because they don't slot together. And I don't want to take the other device. And I don't want to use them as nubs. So I think I'm just going to always leave them attached to the tablet. Well, yeah, if you take it on the go anyway, you'd probably have the screen with Wait you. Wait a minute. So. Well, he was playing... He was playing them, like, yeah, one in each hand. Skyrim, he oh, that's right. He was using, them, like, nunchucks. So that's actually... Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Okay, so, I, it, I can probably... It'll work. I, I can yeah, see myself doing not that. the multiplayer, like, here's your right. half of the... <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> that, yeah. I think that <laughs> it, would work, it would work for, like, if well, somebody there's a, wanted to pad. There's a D-pad next to the joystick, right? Above the joystick? I can't remember now. If there's a D-pad... And I can use it like an NES controller to play NES yeah, games. I'm work. down for that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even Fire Emblem for the Wii worked well with that. Like, yeah, definitely. It, it works mm-hmm. fine. I mean, tr- Fire Emblem doesn't really require too many buttons. No, no not really. So it would definitely work. That'd be cool if we have Fire Emblem on the NX again. That'd be nice. Oh, we probably will. You think well, so? Everything, well, everything has to be on the NX now. I guess, it's yeah, still, if you're replacing yeah, the 3DS. Because well, it's handheld go. and home console. Yeah. There's no reason so. to continue the 3DS yeah, anymore. good point. I mean, so, they could continue yeah. it for another year or so, but I there won't be a new line. I could see the Pokemon Platinum and Pearl remake being on the 3DS still. I think they already said they're making something for They're making something NX. for the NX, but I think that um, if we are to get a remake, they're just going to use the engine from Sun and Moon, and so next year, next holiday season, would be the time to get that. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if we'll get like a as like a stadium thing just like something that they slap I together. imagine that'd be some sort of stadium uh, yeah game. and then I don't they'll... think it's gonna be a main title NX yeah. game yet not mm-hmm. for a while but the next generation of Pokemon is going to have to be higher resolution and no longer sprite based yeah well I mean I guess they could do it sprite based but now it'll be it'll definitely look better because it'll be a home version and a handheld version at the same time so yeah. Interesting. the next Pokemon will look good Everything's going to look good. No more frame drops, probably, because they don't have to worry about 3D anymore. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, there were some concerns <laughs> that the Zelda game had frame rate drops in the trailer, mm-hmm. but um, this is simulated images, so it's it wasn't stock gameplay from the actual device you were seeing. Yeah. Right. So, I, I, yeah, I figured it was just kind of like... There was just a bunch of people on online top. freaking out that after he took it away from the hub, that then Zelda started having frame rate issues. And I watched it a lot very carefully. It doesn't look like it. Zelda, the new Zelda just has this weird thing where uh, as you're aiming your bow, it slows the game down. And so I guess some people saw that as a frame rate uh. issue. And then a lot of people thought as the giant Bonkoblin stood up that he it was really choppy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was, I, I, I don't think so. I don't know. It's don't something, it's something to, be. to be concerned about, but I don't think the device has different specs while on the hub versus on the go. I think it's just going to be the same specs no matter where it goes. The only thing I could see them adding on the hub is more memory space for your downloaded games. Sure. So you can have That'd them be nice. there. But, but how much yeah. of the hub is just a, a piece of plastic? It, exactly. Like it, that, That's what I think it is. It's just like a docking station it's for that charging. converts it straight for up charging. to 1080p for your HDTV. And like charging it and like, yeah, puts it up. Yeah, it's there's a lot of rumors going around that the screen itself on the NX tablet is a 900p screen, so it's not quite 1080. Um, I could easily see in the future we're, we're going to get new NX models with higher res screens. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Um, give me a big tablet, especially to give more options. <laughs> so, like, if you're a hardcore gamer, here's a version that can be in 1080p with the, uh, no frame rate issues. Switch XL. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, and speaking of like hardcore gaming, they spent a good 45 seconds or more trying to establish Splatoon as an esports. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are really excited Japan, about that, but Japan, then of course they could have done, you know, like Smash Brothers I or think, some other games for the esports. If they're doing but, a Smash Bros. port, that's what it should have been. They should have shown... If they have a Smash Bros. port coming, show that. Because that... That plus Zelda plus Mario plus Skyrim on this new idea that people actually like, as opposed to the Wii U's design, would have been killer. Yeah. Well, we still don't know what the launch... (laughs) We don't know what the launch um, list is either. Oh, no. That, yeah, the Mario game looked like it wasn't yet finished. Well, we don't even know if that's an actual game. Because right. with Wii U, they showed Zelda footage that didn't exist. That's they true. did that with the GameCube that's as true. well, with Zelda They did it with the Mario. N64, too. Or like, yeah. They, they do that. So, yeah, we don't we really don't know what the The color is. palette in that Mario footage seemed really washed. I it wasn't did. I wasn't too happy with that. Yeah, it did. I, that's why I say it didn't look like a completed Mario game. And, and, well, to me, it looked kind of empty. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. it looked empty, and I think it looked like a hybrid between the... 3D world. The two point, yeah, 3D world on the and Wii U Galaxy. and Galaxy. It was like a hybrid of the two, mm-hmm. where it seemed yeah. super linear. I could but, see happening... Yeah. Especially if they want to try and go back to the roots of Mario 64. Like, that would be how you would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Me and say he's trying to, they're trying to change the conventions of Mario. And that, what, that was not changing the conventions of Mario. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, we only got a few seconds, but 
from those few seconds, it's not changing it hey, at we all. Got, so. We got King Boo in a cart, so... <laughs> yeah, they did show there Mario Kart. They did so. show Mario Kart. And the the GUI is different. Mm-hmm. Um, they have two item slots for each character. I mean, I know this isn't a huge deal, but in my mind, I feel like they're at least paying homage to Double Dash, so you can actually hold two items now. Because well, on the, the current game, Mario Kart 8, you can't hold two items. No, you can't. You can only have one item in your hand. You can't hold a shell behind you anymore as you're going. You yeah. have to, like, hold on to it without using it. That's why Mario Kart 8 is, like... Skylar doesn't like it as much. I don't like it as much either, so... It it just... It's okay. It, it's good. I like it. But you can't hold that item back there like you could in every other iteration of Mario Kart. They stopped doing that. And so now there are two items, so it's like, okay, well, now I can hold items and manage inventory or whatever. And King Boo. And King there's Boo! King Boo! Yeah. So. Is, he re- is he returning at all? Like, has from, he ever been in Mario from Kart? From Double Dash. From Double Dash? Mm-hmm. Cool. Double Dash HD. King Boo is a good choice for Whoa, a character. Oh, wait a minute. But it wasn't Double Dash. It wasn't Double Dash. There weren't two people were in the cards. People. However, they were on the Yoshi Island. The Yoshi Circuit. Yoshi Circuit, which is from Double Dash. They, it? Yeah, but they've remade Yoshi Circuit for they, Mario Yeah, they Yeah, they've remade it a lot of times. But there's a lot of things from Double, Smack, Double Dash. Yeah. And what it, they're, they're probably not done with it yet. Maybe they'll there's still features to add. I would just like a comparable, like battle mode in my Mario Kart game. In Mario Kart, yeah, that'd be fun. Because the the modern battle modes are just abysmal. They're not fun at all. So taking this into account, is this a port with a lot of things added on? Or is this a new game? This looks like Mario Kart? This is a a new one. Just just from the item speculation alone. I I think it's a new one. I really do. If, if, what I would, what I would say would be like more... I'm not not more accurate, but in my mind, what I think would make more sense for them is if it's based off the Mario 8 engine, but highly modified for the NX. So yeah, like they I aren't mean, starting from scratch, like, but they're using like same yeah, character sure. models and well, yeah. stuff. But it it does look new. It does not yeah. look like Mario. 8. I suspect the NX is not that much more powerful than the Wii U. It is not two Wii U's duct taped together. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> now to be fair, it is there. the most powerful uh, mobile gaming device we've seen so far. Handheld, I take my mobile, PS4 whatever. wherever I go. I don't know, it's <laughs> <laughs> Just cart it around. It, look, it looks a lot more powerful than the, the, the latest PSP Vita was. Uh, the, oh, yeah. And I don't think I've seen any Wait, gaming Sony's tablets. Sony's still making iterations of that thing? No, not in America. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, I hope Japan's happy with it. <laughs> uh, they buy 3DS more, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, probably. So, I thought they'd drop support for that thing. My next question for you guys is how do you feel about the cartridges instead of discs? Yes. Can I say I love it? I love I'm it. So okay? I like it. Yeah, a lot. Fine. It's faster. It just runs faster. Yeah, it's more durable. Buy more, too. Load times. more durable. A lot harder to smash a cart than a disc. Yeah, yeah. And, and and well and the disc is not good. The disc will give you problems if you have a mobile. Yeah, lasers. Yeah. Lasers, lasers are that an laser issue. will be an issue. Any moving part within a mobile is And you have difficult. memory yeah. in a in a cartridge. Well, there's going to be no moving parts in this NX. That's true. So that's just going to mean it, the console cooling. itself. The console but, itself will last longer. Did this any did anyone think great. like when they showed the console that had that square look? Did anyone think like retro like any yes. Super yes. Nintendo it, kind of thing? Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm sorry. It, I, I that's that's like lost. one of the first things that popped in my mind. So like the design look, of the looking console. at the actual like docking mm-hmm. station and mm-hmm. everything, the way uh, that it's like oh. all square and just everything. one yeah. color. I was just thinking it, it Apple. Looks old school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The, the design the design for this system looks like it's ripping from Apple somewhere maybe that's why they talk to the Apple they're like hey uh, here's our system please don't sue us oh, yeah, okay we'll don't give you we'll give you Mario run <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks it looks edgy it looks clean looks new I like I like the the, it uh, looks like a design. real piece of technology instead it, of a toy. It yeah. does. It's like wow. <laughs> what do you know? It's it's black too for a for a Nintendo console. Well, it looks very wow. it looks very in- innovative. Like, right. You know the Wii the Wii was innovative. I I will say that because that led to more study into VR and stuff like that. W- wouldn't you agree? I mean, yeah. sure. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because oh, the Wii was definitely very innovative. innovative. But this one, it looks like the Wii U kind of. Yeah, it had the dual screen, but it wasn't quite 
the thing that they were... It looks like the Wii U was the NX, or the 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 Switch, but like a prototype, an ex- experiment, to see if the dual screen thing, or the the portable gaming thing could could be would be a good mm-hmm. idea and i and i think they obviously saw that that didn't work out and they fixed the kinks and changed changed the idea around it and now we have the switch yeah although i personally feel like the wii u was never fully explored with well this makes the wii u feel like a prototype it, it really yeah, does. It does yeah and i know yeah. plenty of people well maybe like three or four that are not like deep into nintendo like we four are uh-huh. and they're always like why can't I just take my gamepad with me and play on that like it's my 3DS? Well, when they announced the Wii U, that's what everyone thought you could do. Because yeah. that was when the well, rumors... Everybody thought it was just a controller for their Wii. Yeah. Like, you, something you attached oh, to your man. home console Wii. The Wii. That's what I thought until they actually showed the console. The Wii U was a complete mess. And this, this is not. No. This like, is not a mess. No. This is going to be very different, hopefully. Well, why don't we all would have liked to see the E3? Yes. Yes. There would have been more media coverage. There would, there would have been more media coverage, although it did get some. It did there would have been more, yes, but, it would have been but um, I I have to agree with Jordan that this is a lot smoother than the Wii U's announcement. And the, <sighs> the design of the console looks so good. I am it, it really I does. am incredibly happy that they're going to a matte finish mm. on the plastic and oh, the design of it yeah. instead mm. of the shiny plastic. Yeah, it just makes it look better. And it fingerprints. It, <laughs> yeah, no more fingerprints, and I don't know, I like matte Wii finish U. things so anyway, you know, like, smooth plastic is nice, but when you have that texture to something, Can I ask right. one oh, thing, though? That. Yeah. Can I have a different color NX? Like, I think black later. is cool. What's later. that? Not at launch, I think. Not at launch. Later. But later on, maybe. That's fine. Because do... what I loved about my GameCube is I had different color GameCube than other people. I mean, purple was my color. I had black. Yeah, I had black. and I had black, too. Oh, I had dang it! I had... Indigo. It's not purple. Oh. It's indigo. Oh, I'm so I sorry. Pla- I got platinum. Later. And then our friend <laughs> Skyler, Zach, he, his uh, purple Wii U burned out, so we got an orange one. You got a purple Wii U? I actually or, have sorry, all GameCube. the colors. Was there an GameCube. orange GameCube? I think yeah. there was. I had an orange controller. I know that. There, there was an orange GameCube. And I yeah. think there was oh, a limited run much. silver yeah. GameCube. Yeah. Yeah. Platinum. That's I, I, I picked up platinum. the sil- the platinum one, the indigo one, the black one, and an orange one because oh. I had a hobby of buying GameCubes and tearing them apart. Oh, and cool. making monstrosities kind of, of them. To do that now, though. <laughs> now it is. Now it is. <laughs> Back when I did it, GameCubes cost five dollars. At pawn shops. What? Yeah, oh, pawn at pawn shops. shops. Oh, okay. uh, Hollywood Video went out of business, and they had a uh, stack of GameCubes. Oh, and I was wow. like, "How much are the GameCubes?" And they're like, eh, "Take them for five bucks a piece." So I just took home this That's giant so stack cool. of GameCubes and tore them apart. And That's really cool. I had the limited edition Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness GameCube. Yeah, even. I got that uh, skin. Yeah. It, it's no longer functional <laughs> <laughs> rest in yeah. peace Gale of Darkness see, one problem these, with, all these designs yeah. have oh sorry what were you going to say Scott? no like one problem with the GameCube is the dust dust issues true the, it, it did have dust issues you did have to pull them I had, out I had like, to take like, it into the tent of America in Redmond because we, we lived close there at the time and take them in and they, they fixed it up for us but anyway but don't you see all these GameCubes have had memories had memories attached or and I'm but sure yeah, the Wii U I did mean, too, but the colors, like colors, meant something to yeah. people. The N64 was like that as well. Right. I have my green. I one. would love that to have <laughs> to have fun. Switch be like that. I tore mine apart, and you know the the WaveBird controller. Yeah. Tore apart the receiver to it, uh-huh. and attached that into the inside of the GameCube. What? So the GameCube just always had the receiver plugged oh, in. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. a good idea. So it acted like a modern gaming system. You just <laughs> turn on the WaveBird. Huh. That's cool. really cool. That's a good idea. I am excited to be able to take my full size games with me on the go and the cartridges. Like if I'm playing somewhere, I could play Zelda anywhere oh, and then swap I, it out for something. It's that's cool. Great. I'm just glad that we have a tablet now, but none of the games are focused on dual screen play. Yeah. And so that means every game can work on the tablet on itself because every, the, the, one of the big selling points of the Wii U was that if someone's using the TV then you can play on your gamepad turns out almost every game I bought because you had to have both screens you couldn't do that really? yeah you know, there's only a couple of them that I know about the Star Fox one and I don't know what else everything the uses the menu bought? down at the bottom and the well map, I know you can do it with Twilight Princess you can do it with Color Splash you Wind Waker has Park, a TV Smash. mode yeah Waker. There's a lot of games that have it. They're just I, I, often hidden in the menu. Yeah, the, which is and annoying, I hated but. how was the uh, with the Wii U, um, 
if you took your pro controller and sat down on the couch and turned on your TV and then like used the button, the power button to turn on your Wii U, mm-hmm. you couldn't access the menu. So you had to yeah. stand back up, go to the game pad and then mm-hmm. hit the game you wanted. Yeah. And then go back and sit down. That's like, pretty why? This is almost as bad as not being able to use a GameCube controller uh, on the Wii. I, w- I love the GameCube controller so much. Oh, man. If they had a Pro controller, but it was a GameCube controller... Oh, someone's going to... I'm gonna, all someone, over please. that. If, if, it, you, if you can use Wii U gamepad controllers, you can get a custom yeah. GameCube one that's a Pro controller. I might just have to do that. I'll probably just my buy- little brother bought one of those third-party controllers, and it is amazing. So, is this the yeah. end? Is this finally the end of the Wii Remote? The Wii Remote? It I would like I it. would say so. I, like I think it. it I think it is. All well, the mean, Wii peripherals are finally coming to an end. I mean the most I think they're well, okay. Skyler and I were having this conversation. Cause Just Dance is still coming to the Switch. Right. But it could still I I guarantee those. So things. So, is, so that's what I'm saying. So the the, the 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 controls on the side, do they have most controls? Yeah. Or I think so. Is it gonna have like connect things? Not, I don't think not to the point where they can point anymore. Right, no, but, no, but it's more like it can just yeah, no you're right. No so it just oh, has a, man, no more sensor cellular. bar. That's so good. That's really nice. So actually. glad to get rid of that stupid thing. I mean, thing. honestly, like I did love the Wii and the Wii U they had good times, but it's time to get it's t- we're moving on. VR is in yeah. the horizon. I don't want a third it's sensor bar ready, stacked but... on my stack of yeah. <laughs> sensor bars. For reals. Yeah, yeah. My cousins ended up just buying one of the third-party ones with a battery, and since the sensor bar just emits an infrared array, any yeah. Wii remote I just kept forgetting to turn mine off, and then yeah. it and the batteries, batteries die. Yeah. Right, they do it die, dies but... super fast. Yeah. Yeah. As long as and there's some power coming into the sensor bar, it can read it. And mine had a blue flashing light that was always blinking at me and really annoying. <laughs> I got. Uh, oh, you mean like the Wii U does when you do the gamepad when it yeah. has a notification? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, turn me on. Hey, turn me on. <laughs> play me, play me, play me. Um, can, I, can I go back to the point you mentioned about yeah. being able to be, play any game on the go? Mm-hmm. So for me right now, I don't think that really matters to me. And you know, people say I can play Zelda when I go poo. <laughs> like, I you can already do that with the Wii U. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if your bathroom's your close enough to your toilet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just take your Wii U. <laughs> the Wii U gamepad actually goes pretty far. It doesn't go into my room. It doesn't. No. Right there. Yeah. Because you, you remember my old house, the wall right? Is super the thick. old house I used yeah. to live in. It would yeah. go from the basements. All the way to that kitchen upstairs. Oh, wow. Man. Do you guys have I, thin walls? Okay. Thin walls, maybe? <laughs> yeah. They really thin walls. Because uh, our walls here are like... It does, depend on, it does depend on the house and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but I... Honestly, like, I didn't... I don't know. That doesn't appeal to me. Not... I mean, going poo is wonderful. But... <laughs> <laughs> but the, the whole... The whole. <laughs> I'm not like going to allow you to touch my controller. <laughs> you seriously? And you can take your own controller into the bathroom and then put it back on. I didn't see I was going to go <laughs> play my Switch on the toilet. <laughs> I have my 3DS for that. No, uh, I'm not touching oh, that either. Oh, no. no, no, what? <laughs> you know you can't just wash some of that off. You need to like. You I really like have I'm to scrub. My, it's not like I'm touching <laughs> everything while I'm in the bathroom. Gosh, guys. This is I am the great mighty poo. I mean, come on. You guys don't read your books in the bathroom either? Like, come nope. on. I, I don't read. That's the... the I don't that's, read. I don't I'm read. dyslexic. I, I, I really am. Uh, anyway, let's just move on, guys. <laughs> yeah, it is fine. So what, I, what I'm saying is I personally wouldn't take it into the bathroom or take it out, take it all the way outside. I like to play some of these games. I did experience them just at home. Which However, you can still do. Which you can still do. You can still do. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, will do that. And, and, however, maybe that will change. Maybe that, maybe I'll be like, you know what? I want to go outside and play this or something I, like that. Yeah, My this... thought process would be, oh, I'm going up to to the other guy's place in Provo. Yeah. I need to drive up there. I'll take my game pad. So. Yeah, you know, like... Uh, oh, I'm going this... to be on campus for a few hours today between classes. I'm gonna have I to... want to play Zelda. Yeah. This I'm... has a lot of, like, possibilities. I'm gonna have to buy a really heavy protector. Yeah. That, and that and that's for me that's a thing because I am just accident prone. I don't know what it is about me. I just have accidents. 
But yeah, I'm pretty careful. That's good. I mean, it's it's fine and all, but if one thing goes wrong with my backpack or someone else does something, like I don't want my controller to get smashed. I have a specific compartment in my backpack that you just slide oh, in good. a tablet. I mean, yeah. Oh well, yeah, I, that's a good. Point. I have a case for my 3ds and everything that keeps everything just fine. But now, <clears throat> uh, is there going to be street pass? <laughs> Because <laughs> that would change things up a little bit. Um, maybe. I think, I don't know. Do you think they keep that? We haven't seen anything there wasn't, there of wasn't the underlying o- system. That's so. true. We don't even know if this can, like, run other apps as if... Can can I replace my tablet with can this? Can I go on Facebook with this? That's a good question. This. Can I replace your tablet? I don't know. Because it has the power, but does it have the operating system for it? Will Nintendo give me the option? Is it actually Android based? Like people. Is it a touch screen? We don't even know what's a touch screen. That's yeah. true. That is, wow. Is it multi touch? How responsive is, is Nintendo, it? Yeah, is it multi touch? Is Nintendo finally is stepping into that realm? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Instead of using all their leftover warehouse parts, <laughs> like force touch. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I would love for it to be a tablet, but I already have my iPad. So I, I don't really wish one. they would just give me. Specs. I want to. I want to know what's in this machine. Yeah, Nintendo that'd be never nice. gives specs no. right off the bat. That's for sure. Maybe they will at the conference, though. Most people have to like dig into the, the console. Uh, to don't find they have that. their? Um, gosh dang it! What's it? Investors meeting. Yeah, it already happened. Up? Are there? Are those on the twenty seventh? No, it happened last month. No, no, no. no it's, it's this it's month. A, it's it's this month. month? On the twenty seventh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Totally. That's why they release. That's it's, why I feel like they release the NX this week. <laughs> it, it's not for their. Um, their, it's not their summary of what happened last quarter. It's their projections for, for the next year. Oh. And so perhaps they'll detail the specs there. And I'm sure, I'm sure the investors will ask, yeah. "What the heck is this? Like, yeah, what's inside it, this?" Usually, what happens is someone digs into the console or something. It feels so yeah. weird because this is the first console that we ever like had spoiled before by Nintendo. Yeah. And to have no information with it. That's true. Every other time we get like trailers for games, speculate or some specifications on specs. It's this one has been a real mystery, even with the Eurogamer leaks or whatever. Even though some of it was wrong, uh, a lot of them are wrong. The <laughs> X two chip not being in this that's is a big. A, that's a big. It's a big uh, giveaway that a lot of the rumors have been false up till now. There you go. But it's so there. There is a lot of mystery. There was a lot mm-hmm. of mystery behind it, and still is. <laughs> I yeah. just want some games. I just want to see some games. That's true. So I, I would like to see some games. I'm glad they showed some games, though. Zelda needs to be a launch title. If it's a launch title, this system will be a successful game. Okay, if it's yeah. not, yeah, it's it needs to be a launch title, and then they have to have games throughout the next year. I don't think the Mario game's done yet. I think no, that's, no, 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 no. It's I think it's in the launch window. I think right. it would be. You think, you think it's the launch window? I think it's the holiday game. See, oh. That's for, a good idea. For good Nintendo point. is like in the Wii U's lifetime, for instance, the Wii U did very well for its very for its launch. Had tons and tons of games. Next Christmas they didn't really have anything. Right. Yeah. Which is kind of to the but downfall now, of that. But concept. now they have all of their development working on one machine instead of two exactly, machines. Exactly. Which is, which is awesome. Like that's great. It's that they be have awesome. they're gonna hey, have retro, a lot of games for what this you console. Doing? You're not gonna have like Prime? the year of three DS <laughs> and then drought of Wii U, so, yeah. per se. But the thing is, like, Nintendo has to keep those games coming throughout right, the first year. And that, I that think third part, part, first year. part of the key is keeping third parties interested. Yeah, and yeah. I wanted to talk about the third parties that we know are working on the okay. um, Switch right now. They re- they released a list of the Are they working parties. on them, or are those the Do third parties that receive kits? development kits? Yeah. Some of the publishers, developers, and middleware partners announcing support for Nintendo Switch are as follows. And this is the list. So they are so people that support. have said that they are so what, supporting what, them. What is the definition of support? Is that know, mean? They are, they're developing. Developing something for it. They, okay, yeah. that's the okay. I'm what sure it is? Like, it could be shovelware. It, it looks could, good. Look at you, Ubisoft. <laughs> but, um, let, let me run down the list so we have an idea of what they've got. They've got 505 Games, Activision, Arc System Works, Atlas, Auto Kinetic, Autodesk, <laughs> Bandai Namco, Bethesda, <laughs> Capcom, Codemasters, mm, Bethesda. CRI Middleware, DNA, Electronic Arts, Epic Games, Firelight Technologies, From Software Inc. Frozen Bite, Game Trust, Grasshopper Manufacturer, Gung Ho Online Entertainment, <laughs> Hamster Corporation, Havoc, Inti Creates, um, Koei Tecmo Games, Konami for some reason, Level Five, That's Marvelous, good. Good. Pachinko Game, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Maximum Games, Nippon Ichi Software, uh, Parody Bit, Platinum Games, Rad Game Tools, 
Reko Choku, Sega, uh, Silicon Studios, uh, Spike Chunsoft, Square Enix, Starbreeze, Take Two Interactive, Telltale, THQ, Tokyo RPG Factory, TT Games, Ubisoft, Ubitus, Unity Technologies, Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment, and Web Technology Corp. It's a pretty big list for, like, right off the bat. Of Some of those are more of, like, um, working on the system itself and stuff like that. Not and, not all game and developing software. like tools and yeah. stuff for indie developers, right? But so they're yeah. not all making games. However, <sighs> a lot of them are. But they're all writing software for yeah. a console. Can, can I say that? Well, or hard are designing hard, designing hardware, hardware. Yeah. designing hardware. Uh, so peripherals and things. Like for example, like like DNA is working on uh, working on mobile games. And yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. so. How easy will it be to port from mobile to this system? I don't know. Because that's going to have a huge huge effect. effect. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And how easy is it to port from, say, PC? Because it is porting in general. It's it's a NVIDIA architecture. Yeah, NVIDIA architecture, Mm -hmm. which is kind of no one's really been using. PC uses that quite a bit. PC does. Yeah. Oh, all the time, and so does mobile. Okay. Okay. So maybe it will be pretty easy to port then. So then what? That's the so hope. then what would it be hard for? Would be the normal home console. No, the normal home consoles are designed for <laughs> x86 architectures, which I believe Nvidia has it designed because for. Because they well. have AMD, like PS4 and Xbox. They are AMD. Uh, AMD is more processor aligned. Okay. Okay. Um, so this, so would that make porting difficult? I, I don't know. I would imagine. I'm hoping that they made it so that it's really easy to port. That that this is the gap that was between a with the Wii U. That this is the gap between mobile and core gaming, and that's why so many third parties seem to be initially excited about it because it does mean they can continue making their hardcore games, but also try to bring in that mobile market. Yeah, yeah. which is a huge market right now. Huge, yeah. Bring me Kingdom Hearts three. <laughs> yeah, I was I'm thinking like, that all wow, the Final time. Fantasy, Kingdom Got Hearts three. Squaresoft but is on board. Did you know TT TT was it TT? No T two TT TT. The people who do Rockstar, uh, not Rockstar. The people Rock who Band? do GTA. Oh GTA. Yeah, Rockstar. Rockstar. No, they're they're like Rockstar, but it's like a anyway. Well, let's just say Rockstar. They're on there. Mm-hmm. So you think GTA? GTA? Well, they just announced the new Red Dead. They did now. Yes, they did. The new Red Dead but is. But however, they didn't announce it for. They didn't announce. Oh, that's it for cool. I, I thought they would have. They announced it for for, GTA. for the X Bone and for the PS4. Yeah, X Bone. <laughs> <laughs> but which is which? I thought because they were announcing at the same time, maybe they would have said, "Oh, it's also on the Switch." Well, it's not even on PC. That's true. It's not even on PC. So it could come later. Hmm. They might have got the development kit too late. That's the other That's thing. A good point. There might be a lot of ports coming that aren't ready for uh, launch yet. Fair yeah. Enough. So I mean, this is all nice and all. Like they have this huge list, but why wouldn't they show any of the games that people are working on? I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, one, they keep one, saying they're not ready. They're not one, ready. Yeah, they keep pushing is it not, back. They're pushing not it ready, back. Maybe. Which I heard that they were supposed to announce the NX in September. Like that's what one of that's what a Nintendo uh, person uh, said. Like they were going to announce in September, but they had to push it back for a reason that they couldn't say. Something's they... going on. Yeah, I the only know. problem is is that the console is still going to launch in March. They were sure to mention that at they, the end yeah. of the trailer. Like you said, yeah, they yeah. said March the 2017. Only... And March is yeah. I'll believe March that too... when it's in my hands. Right. That's what but you have to I, do with I personally games. believe that March is too close to right now for them to be like no, it's not going to come in March. Like I don't to know. push it back later. Nintendo's I mean, done it before. They yeah, have. but we're like 130 something days away, f- like maximum, from the launch of the console. If they knew it was going to take longer than that from some delay last month, they would have sure. already pushed it back. Which is that, that also begs the question, though: if they feel they're not ready, then why aren't they showing any games? I think they don't want. I think they want to kind of channel excitement yeah, and speculation. I, yeah, I think oh, they want to. Point. They want to control how the public views the console for now. I think they want. They I, wanted to build up the hype. They want to make sure that what they say is what people are getting. The Wii U was a know. disaster, and I think Nintendo thinks. I don't know if it's true, but I think Nintendo thinks that part of that was too much was revealed all at once, and so people would find just little things to nitpick on, and then it was just ruined for everything else. Maybe. 
I they are just... definitely <laughs> learning a lot from the Wii U. Yeah, I th- I think they should have just been more forthright with, hey, this is a new console and not just a controller. It should have. If if there is a Mario game coming out next year, they should have shown a Mario trailer. For real, <laughs> like if there's a like, they, and I mean, if you want us to be on board for third party, lift the ban for third parties to show the game. Yeah, exactly. Like I want to see what third parties are making for this console, not just another port. Right. Like, are we getting Elder Scrolls? Are we part, just getting part, a port of Skyrim, or are oh, we getting a new no, one? It's, so there is a remake of Skyrim coming out. I oh, think okay. it's either this later this year for. Oh, it's remastered. Yes, yeah, the remaster. It's okay. the remastered version of Skyrim that is going to PS4 and Xbox One, and, and it looks Switch. like it is the exact same thing, and it is coming to Switch. Okay. Which is pretty nice to see because the game that's running on PS4, and Xbox One can run on this. Yes, Switch. and so I think that's why they wanted to definitely show that one on the trailers because Skyrim nothing else. Name, but when you can show. You show that. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Everything else was Nintendo focused besides that and the sports games. And those are two genres Indeed. that Nintendo yeah. has really had a hard time grasping on. And so they're showing, hey, we're going to do it this time. Third yeah. parties are on board. Skyrim, which is one of the biggest criticisms for the past Nintendo systems, yeah. not Bethesda games have not been on Nintendo systems up till now. It's kind of weird to me that Skyrim is still getting put onto the system, especially as um, one of their main like advertising games, when Bethesda really hates Nintendo, like they have <laughs> they have openly said how much they hate Nintendo. They so are they are right hardcore there. Microsoft PC gamers over there. So they they don't even like Sony. Changed. They don't even like Sony much. Something had to have changed then, or Nintendo struck up a really good deal with them. Yeah. It, it mu- it, yeah, it must be. I mean, if Fallout ever gets put on Nintendo... Oh my gosh. I will be Holy shocked, because the director of Fallout hates Nintendo. Oh no. He hates Nintendo. But, so, I, but I, see, I see your reasoning why they would put it in there, though. Because, like you said, oh hey, look, our, our system can run the, the same... Close to the same game as what PS4 and Xbox One will be will be running. Yep. So right. that's that's got to be good for a especially to since see. the PS5 and the next Xbox aren't really coming out for quite a while since they announced the upgraded versions of the four right. and the the one. It's also interesting because um, they re- they released this trailer with Skyrim being well, on their trailer. The Pro is coming out in November, by the way. So, um, mm-hmm. And they've recently started their campaigning for uh, their ad campaigns for Skyrim. So it's at the same time as the ad campaigns for Skyrim for the other mm-hmm. consoles. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, oh, hey, you also have the option on here. So Nintendo game readers are not left out. Right. Yeah, and I think, I think it's, well, what was I going to say? So the announcement was today. I think that they are going to release the ban on third parties very soon. Like, we still have time before March, before, you know, like, people make up their minds whether or not they're going to buy the console. I mean, sure, we're going to get it, whatever. Uh, but heck yeah. But other people, you know, it's like, they aren't showing third parties yet because they just announced the, the, the console. They right. just uh, think, now are letting the public see what they've been working on. And so now that they've got that initial reaction, they've got some of the press coverage that they've got, soon they'll start showing off this is what it's going to have you, because they're going to have to right. because I, March is just around the corner. You right. have to start with the Nintendo games that will be launches. The most likely ones so far are definitely Zelda, right. please be launch, Mario Kart, and Mario itself and, uh, and, maybe and Splatoon that ups, too. Yeah, up that that up to port of Splatoon. So yeah, I don't know how I don't know about that. I don't know about calling it port. I don't know about calling Splatoon that. Splatoon I mean, port. it looks yeah. more like a, another a new game. I mean, they yeah. have a new stage, but new stage, I, new clothes, new hairstyle, but new I, poses when they come in. Like that's a new pose. Right. Like was there any repeat like any repeat at all from it what we saw like in that it, it that's like true it. it looks completely new but I mean 
when when I'm saying port, I, I mean it's it's so close to the original game that it's not like it's a whole new game. I don't know. I mean, I guess it, it would be a sequel because they are modifying the engine, they are moving it up to a new system, they are adding lots of new things. But I mean, it's just like I Splatoon would, is still I, super yeah. active right now online, and so it's like it's a port up. Uh, I mean, not, not have, why not so can I don't you know. play Splatoon then on the go? Because Splatoon needs an internet connection. Yeah, you probably can, if, if you're connected to internet, probably. Which probably means that they have a better interface for connecting to the internet than the 3DS does, because the 3DS's internet is it's horrible. awful. It's, really yeah, it's, it's like we're still living in 2003. Gotta choose, I want to make a new connection. <laughs> okay, great. Enter in the password, instead of just, like, tapping the... So that, yeah, that's another bit. question. Like, how good will the internet connection be? Because it needs to be yeah. stellar. The step up between Wii U till this generation, it feels like we're skipping a generation. Nintendo has been so archaic up until now, and now we're finally getting something new, something fresh, something... True, true. Something modern. Maybe this is... It could be that the hype is talking right now, but I, I agree with that I, as of right now. Yeah, they do. looks like it. Um, can I... With another third-party game <laughs> I that's see been some rumored, interface first. That rumored to come, and they've, they've confirmed that they're working on it. And, uh, whoever made it Beyond Good and Evil... The second they they are they second have, the second one is confirmed here. Um, I need we'll, a source on maybe, this. Maybe we'll go back. It's the actual developers who's like tweeting it. Okay, I need to. Um, What's the game called? Uh, Beyond, Beyond Good and Good, Evil Beyond Two. Beyond Good and Evil Two. GameCube game extravaganza. Uh, so there's no way. Um, there's no way. I don't believe you. Uh, I hey, <laughs> we, I, we've been teased about Beyond Good and Evil for the last like what? Yeah, fourteen years. No, they have like character models. They're like showing them. What? Yes, I, I'm yeah, not so, kidding. So Ubisoft developed the game. Yeah, yeah Ubisoft, Ubisoft. developed or was published. Here, or, I got it. Uh, <laughs> I hope this doesn't mean shovelware. Um, another thing I want to say is that I, I Ubisoft was really rumor, good at the beginning of the Wii U cycle. Rumor started yeah. by mm-hmm. Emily Rogers, who was right about when the when this would be released and the the different um, a lot of the things she was right about. Some of the things she's been pa- wrong in the past, but she did say that her source told her that there wouldn't be any region lock. That's good. So if her, oh, if yes. she's true, <laughs> once she becomes a reliable source, to um, wow, that's amazing. Having not having to worry about reason. Then oh Nintendo can make another Wendon. Yeah, I could play. It. P- <laughs> PC Gamer posted this morning or yesterday. Beyond Good and Evil Two was playable back in two thousand eight. Okay, but it was Here canceled. It Michael uh, back. Michael Ansel says Beyond Good and Evil Two tech is ready and the team is fantastic. But is that does that mean the, uh, it's on Switch? So the action pace. A base platformer has already been confirmed as in development by Ubisoft and is rumored to be an exclusive for the Nintendo NX platform. What? Yeah. An exclusive? No. Yeah. yeah. That would be huge. Here's some, of the, here's some of the models they got they're working on. Stuff like that. And, <laughs> and people all oh, over it's Twitter. Instagram, I'm, I'm not just, Twitter. It was Instagram. Oh, oh why? Well, I'm just I'm looking through Twitter right now and there are tons of people that are saying if it is an NX exclusive or Switch exclusive. That is reason enough alone for me to buy yeah. a Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah. Because like, it was on the GameCube. Yeah. Yeah. It, it makes sense. It makes sense. Ubisoft is very Nintendo friendly. They, they really and are. Beyond Good and Evil did start on the GameCube. I believe it was ported to other systems. Uh, it was. Yes, that. it was. So, the, another rumor is that it is a reboot of the traditional uh, of, the, of the traditional sense. Um of Beyond Good and of, Evil. Of Beyond Good and Evil. It would make sense. It's been so long, it's time to go back right. to what everyone right. loved about the first um, one. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that would be killer. Now I don't think we'll see that till maybe next E3. Yeah, the the Ubisoft says they're <laughs> planning then, the release maybe. for 2018. <laughs> if Nintendo doesn't, but E3. yeah, if it's coming out 2018, <laughs> we're not right. saying until E3. Oops, sorry. Nintendo seems so, perfectly so content with now that that, that is days. interesting because we did get this rumor back before E3, but it was supposed to be for Wii U, and, but not as an exclusive for Wii U. It was going to be Beyond Good and Evil Two was going to be one of Ubisoft's only games for the Wii U and also for the other systems. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the same thing with like a, the Beautiful Joe series yeah. and other games. This is, and this rumor is interesting because it's somewhat, somewhat backed up by the developers and Ubisoft. Not the fact that it's exclusive, but that it's coming. Like, we know it's coming. We see stuff. And the fact that it was on GameCube to begin with, it's like, well, you know, why not have it on the Switch? So... That would be sweet. Uh, Just release, re- re-release the original on the Nintendo eShop, and oh, give us yes. have a, have a dual disc system like what Bayonetta Ooh, had. That would be. Amazing. What if we got like 
wireless GameCube controllers for our like GameCube simulation on this on the oh, Switch. They need to be wired. GameCube That's why everyone console. loves the GameCube. I don't controllers. care if it, if, it, if, it, if it is the GameCube controller. <laughs> if it doesn't it's matter. The it's wireless. GameCube controller. I don't care <laughs> if it, if it, there's no lag between the buttons and the and the the screen. If it feels like a GameCube controller, I'm even all, if I'm down even for if it. Nintendo calls it the. Retro Pro controller. I mean, Retro it, Pro it controller. It's exactly like the GameCube I mean, Game controller. I would buy it. For, for the, the fact that WaveBirds are kind of laggy, and yeah. they're selling for like $100 a piece, already indicates that people are willing to pay for a wireless GameCube controller, as is. I should have kept mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. So people... It's it's wanted. People want it. I want it. I'll buy I'll buy four. You know? <laughs> I'll buy four of them. Uh, it's yeah. what it's like. it, as it is, the Switch looks awesome. It looks I mean, beautiful. I first saw it and I was like, I was, on, uh, I'll be honest, when I saw what it was, I was like, oh man, I really didn't want it to be a hybrid. I Because I really didn't I going into there. I understand. But when I saw it in action, I'm like, okay, Nintendo, you got me. You got me. This is amazing. It's working. I want it's it. It's working. It's, they, it's, it's a working. home run. Now, make sure to still run all the bases without tripping over and running to left field, right. which is probably which why what the Wii U going did so slow. Like why their their announcement took so long and everything is they want to make sure that they do it right this time because they can't have another Wii U or they're done. Yeah, another Wii U would. I don't think Nintendo would be done, but it would be very disastrous for Nintendo's shareholders. Yeah, yeah. if they were. Oh, good. did you see the news? They went up eight percent yesterday when they said that they were going to give the trailer this morning. <laughs> Their company value went up by one point two billion dollars before the announcement. Holy yeah, crap! Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of like good, good stuff from from just saying. People were like, "Hey, about we're damn time!" We're coming with the <laughs> NX. And everyone's like, "About damn time!" The, everybody, let's get go. on the train, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> this ain't train ain't switching nowhere. Yeah, and Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, it's. No, the console looks great. Yeah, um, it really does. I it, just want to see some of the menu op- menus and things like that, see how the interface all works together. Definitely. I want to see do it more stream- in action. Yeah, do they streamline the experience? Are there games? Like, like uh, that's, that's all questions. questions. Have. They'll, they'll, they'll be, be answered nice. soon, I bet. Like, I'm I'm willing to bet that we'll get trailers within, like, the next couple of weeks. I think every oh, week until it's release, we're going to get a trickle of something like how Pokemon has been I think that's just Nintendo's strategy now That'd just be nice. a trickle of information that's continuous however I, I don't believe it it's is, agonizing it. It, it is, is agonizing it is very it agonizing it hurts so much but it keeps you interested and it works well for them yeah, yeah. look at look at the brawl hype train Super Smash oh man, <laughs> that, oh, was, man. that was releasing great. like one little thing one every picture picture even if it was like one maybe it was just like the screw attack okay brawl's ad campaign Gave me so much anxiety the month before the game's release. I oh, almost I jumped a off a roof because I oh, could gosh. not handle how much. That was, that was a lot of. There was a lot. Of yeah, but then you finally there. had the game in your hand. You're like, Ugh. yes. <laughs> and then you're like, like, oh, it's not melee. Like, <laughs> like no man. The day I, they no. announced no, that I brawl was, was delayed, I don't think I've oh, ever gosh. felt more so de- like heartbreak. more agonizing pain from a delay from any game besides Brawl. Yeah. Like, yeah, I agree. Skyward Sword is painful, but it was livable. Twilight Princess is a little painful for me. Breath of the Wild, I... I don't know. I, I've I'm been, so I, numbed down by now. Yeah, I'm so desensitized <laughs> to now, it's just like, whatever, sure. I guess it's expected. Nintendo, come on. Grow yeah. up. But Brawl, I felt my heart, like, stop. But yeah, when they announced, <laughs> I was like, no! No, <laughs> you were supposed to come out like next week. No, no. <laughs> they, 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 they like delayed it. Like I didn't believe it. Before. I thought it was a 4chan post that they hacked onto the main channel or the main site for Smash Bros. I was in complete denial because that was okay, so painful. Okay, get this. So there's probably this maybe isn't that surprising, but um, the Un- Unreal Engine Twitter account just tweeted we're thrilled to partner with Nintendo to help Unreal Engine 4 developers bring their games to Nintendo Switch that's Yay. good that's really that good. good that is that is so good for Nintendo so, so Epic Games is on that list come on give us Shadow Complex 2 Ooh. I, I've never give played us, give us a real I, Metroid game because Nintendo won't hey, have you played Action Verge yet? 
No, Dude, I need totally to. Totally worth it. Shut up. Do it. I like, forgot the name. I'll, I'll. You'll have to text me the name I, of yeah, it. Yeah, so. it's on the website. It's we wrote it. Sky wrote, wrote a review. review. It's on the website. <laughs> well, someone hasn't been reading the website. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. A lot of people don't read our website. But I, oh, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> but I. Oh, dude, I love that game. Yeah. Like, it's super replayable too, and it even has but a guys, has like a time limit. But, but guys, Square Enix is on that list. Eh. Kingdom Hearts. Eh. Three. <laughs> Man. Honestly, I'm excited it's because it, it would bring up so many fans and everything. But just watching you play through that game, I was just like. No, but oh, the, the gameplay. Okay. Okay. The, the, I the wanted to is, happen. I, I, one quick thing to defend Kingdom Hearts and everything it stands for. Yeah. You have to watch the HD remix games when they remade sure they them. Look good, no, they... when they remade them for the PlayStation uh-huh. Three, they fixed all of those slow mechanics in the game. Oh, really? They added uh, response commands in the first game. Okay. They made the enemies harder and they added way more stuff. Enemies and harder. It's good. Yeah. Oh, so man, that Ursula fight. I want yeah. to happen. <laughs> yeah. I want to happen. Anyway. I will not buy it though. I I am not a fan of JRPGs it, usually. I like um, JRPGs. It's a surprise I'm not into Kingdom Hearts. So, but it just it bothers me. It rubs me the wrong way that Nintendo's not getting the new Kingdom Hearts, but Microsoft is. Yeah, that that kind of is like really, really. I know. That. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, surely they can. We I mean, got a cloud and Smash Bros. They can do whatever they want. It doesn't <laughs> make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like Kingdom Hearts uh, is definitely PlayStation first, but Nintendo second. Right? Why is it on Microsoft? on Microsoft? It has never been on a Microsoft. Yeah. Maybe, console, maybe, maybe they're waiting to reveal it for the Switch. Kay. We so got we PC, got Chain though. of Memories for the Game Boy. We got Dream Drop Distance. We got. Uh, I can't remember the names, but they're like there. Yeah, there are games that were built for the D- DS, one for the 3DS, and the Game Boy. So it's like Kingdom Hearts is also like it has a home on Nintendo, so they need to bring it to the Switch. Yeah, because Nintendo on. fans like Kingdom Hearts. Come on, Square. Just, anyway. Don't you like money? <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, Square. Come on, Square. You can do it. I really you hope we get a it. ukulele. Uh, port from oh, Wii U. So excited for that one game. Playing through Banjo just makes me. It makes my because it comes ache. out the same month, March. So at that's the right. Same time. So this is weird. They said they weren't really working on it. Um, in Switch. a quote, yeah. or in, in a in an interview with Bethesda just just now, they said that uh, we're happy to have the opportunity to collaborate with Nintendo on the video, but we're not confirming any specific titles at this time. We are pleased to announce our partnership with Nintendo in support of the Switch. We look forward to revealing specific games and details that, in the future. It could be Nintendo restricting them from saying Still, anything. Even though it was in the freaking video? Yeah. I mean, I mean it, could, it could be. That's interesting. We can't, it'd be give, really, it'd can't be, give any dates yet. That'd be so bad if like, Skyrim doesn't actually come yeah, to Yeah, that would be Switch. really bad. But Bethesda <laughs> is saying that they are supporting the True, NX and they have, and they have a partnership, titles. so something's coming. Yeah, but it could be something stupid like the Skyrim card game oh, coming please, out. please, no! <laughs> that is so <laughs> stupid! <laughs> Wait, you think you are magic? You lost Skyler, dude. <laughs> Jordan, way to go. Way to go, Jordan. Sky, <laughs> Skyler's out the rest of the We episodes. know, we know. Okay, <laughs> everybody, we know what you wanted. A sequel to Skyrim? No! No, it's not going to be a sequel. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know. A sequel to Skyrim no, just, like, just, glares at him. It's a spin-off game, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who, who said you wanted that? Hey, you guys are Nintendo. Game. You guys are Nintendo fans. You like spinoffs. You guys are you have tons you are of them. very you, you, now, you're very you're used to spinoffs. <laughs> now, I, that is an actual game that's coming though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the card game for Skyrim. It is actual. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I think it's already out. Is it really? I think so. Oh, I might, I might be wrong. I don't. I don't follow them. But yeah, I don't follow them. It's dumb. It's not a good card game. Play Magic, dude. Play a real card game. Is there anything else that we need to talk about with the Switch? Because oh, Jordan, you had something. Oh, you? I was just going to say that I'm more of a Fallout guy than a Skyrim guy, but sure, so whatever. They, they could bring Fallout to it. It'd be nice. I, mean, I already shoot, have Fallout, I think yeah. Bethesda would make a lot more money if but just by releasing It'd be nice if again. Fallout were on the system just so Skyler could play through it so we could talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he's not buying a PlayStation. I, yeah, I don't, I don't have the money to buy multiple consoles. I buy Nintendo, so... That's fair enough. Yeah. 500, 400, and 300 whatever dollars really adds up. I'm just yeah, yeah uh, it's going to be interesting to see what this price is. I don't care what the price is. Uh, it's gonna, well, I'm buying I mean, one. It, 
depending, I'm gonna buy one, but depending on the price, is when I'm gonna be able to buy it. You know, or how oh, many I'm buying a day one. I want to buy it. I want to buy it day one. <laughs> I'm right like, Amazon of, right now. If I have to cut off my arm to buy the game, I don't know. Well, I'm I gonna go buy it. I'll do kidneys. Yeah, that's what I'm just gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> I could use only one. I'll just sell half my liver, grow back in a couple months, sell it again. <laughs> so much so. circle of life. That's, anyway, that's how livers work. <laughs> um, how about how about we finish the switch discussion? I mean, we've been talking about it for about oh, that's an fine. hour. Yeah, now. I mean, it's the final. Ahead. It's finally been revealed. I know, I know, but we also have sun and moon stuff that we wanted to talk about. Yes. And so because yes, they, they have a lot of sun and moon stuff, we got a huge we, bomb. But I want, I want about... to I want us to each have an opportunity to give like one final comment on the switch before we switch over to Pokemon. Okay. I mean, you know, you, yeah, I'm just going to throw you on the spot right now, Jordan, and say, give right me now. one sentence. This very, this very one moment. One sentence what? about the One sentence the about the NX. <laughs> Called it. Ooh! <laughs> That's a good one. Go, li- go listen good to our one. NX speculation episode, T. <laughs> we talked a lot about that. Dude, that oh, well man. done, Jordan. How I beat congratulations. That? How that's do my, I beat that? That's in the hey, he didn't call the applause. release though. No, he didn't call when it was revealed. Neither did I. But I was a week <laughs> off. <laughs> Jordan hey, was pretty close. Hey, hey, I will say this. I said September and October on this podcast, and then you're like, you gotta pick one. So I said September, but. I did specifically say September. I did specifically say it would be after Pokemon Sun and Moon release, though. Uh, so I didn't mean the beginning of November, but still, technically, I said November. <laughs> so I was the closest. <laughs> yeah, whatever. They, oh, whatever. and they were originally going to reveal it in September. So anyway, okay, I'll stop. Uh, so what's my one sentence? Nintendo does innovation best. That's what this is. Innovation. About time. Skyler, do you have anything? I want to play some games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one because even if we saw games... We would like to switch. I would like to play. I, would <laughs> like to play. <laughs> I want to hold that controller in my hand. I want to play some games. So, yeah, I want it. I just, I want to have it in my hands. Definitely. It looks freaking awesome. It, it's a, it's a good step forward for Nintendo. And from all of the hype that I've seen online, it is definitely a home run. And we will probably talk more and more about the Switch, even more on this podcast as we get more information. That's fair enough. We've got tons of room for speculation. I mean, we just talked for an hour over a three and a half minute trailer. Plus, you know, some interviews well, and other in little things. in the three and a half but... minute trailer, they only show the NX for like, I don't know, <laughs> 30, 30 showed... seconds? <laughs> oh, that's true. Well, otherwise, you're just seeing simulated gameplay. Well, the thing anyway. is, it's funny too, is that the Wii on its, like, its first initial trailer was only 30 seconds long. <laughs> so, I mean, we already got like three more minutes than this one. <laughs> Oh man, so. the Wii's initial trailer was so confusing. I yeah. had no idea what it was. <laughs> the, the Wii was like, the play was like 30 seconds or whatever. <laughs> well, well, trailer. So, so. But yeah, we'll come back to the, the Switch oh, for fine. sure. Absolutely. Hey, making it to this part of the show means that you might just find us interesting. If you really do, we'd like to ask you to take a minute of your time and give us a review on iTunes. A simple review can help more people like you find our show. More people means more dedication from us. If you aren't interested in a review, we'd like to remind you about our Patreon page at patreon.com slash virtualvoice. Any amount that you can spare, even if it's just a dollar a month, would go a long way to helping us keep our show going. We've got lots of things planned for the future, and your donations could help us make them come true. Thanks again for listening. We really appreciate your support. Don't forget to share us with your friends. Anyway, now back to the episode. Let's go into Pokemon Sun and Moon because we have some interesting stuff about that. Is it time to okay. open Bill CC? Spoiler, spoiler alert! It's Yoko. Hold on. <laughs> if you don't want to be spoiled about the new Pokemon game, oh yeah, get out now. Skip forward how, and tell well, like the the end music important. or something. Skylar, how much have you looked into the Pokedex? Dude, way more than Zelda. <laughs> well, are, so are you are you against spoilers? No. Nah. Okay, because okay. the not game for got Pokemon, but the demo got before cracked. Before we move on, for any of you that are stopping the episode right now, be sure to check us out online, virtualizer XYZ. <laughs> follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks. Okay, continue. All right, <laughs> Bill's PC now. Bill's PC. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, so the demo got cracked. Like yeah, 
Super fast. Super fast. Before it even got released in America, it was cracked. Yep. Yeah, man. <laughs> Go, Japanese. Like, Holy cow. Go, Japanese. It might have been Australia. It was Australia. It was Australia. Fucking bicycle. So, um, they scrubbed almost all information out of the demo. Yeah. Except for the sprites of the Pokemon. <laughs> was this an accident? What the crap? (laughs) They got rid of all of their base stats. Did they replace them with Pikachu's? Yeah, yeah, they replaced them with Pikachu's base stats just because they can. I think they they just forgot to replace all the sprites with Pikachu sprites. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's that's probably what they were going to do. They probably they probably didn't release the last like Uh, repo uh, of it and. Or image. Oh no! And just went like two oh, steps no. back. <laughs> Touchy Cole, you messed up again. Oh my bad. <laughs> oh, no. you're fired. <laughs> anyway, so the demo came out. I mean, the demo. It, it's basically just like playing through what happens in like a, a trailer that we've seen. I mean, I don't think there's yeah. anything very particular to note about the actual gameplay, <laughs> other than Skyler and James. Oh, I saw and some everyone else that were. Well, interesting about the gameplay. Okay, just but, playing but I mean, Sun and Moon. It feels like engine. Yokai Watch, like some of the oh. el- elements. <sighs> okay. Yeah, but anyway, let's, 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 just, let's talk, about talk about the trailer. Real quick? We'll, okay. we'll talk about the trailer, then we'll talk about the data mining. Okay. Because that's exciting. That's yeah, we'll do the da- data mining last, okay, so you do have the, the chance to flee still. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so I have not played the trailer all the way, or even started, but I oh, have the seen the demo. Demo. Oh okay. Sorry, but I have seen a lot and I've and I basically have a good understanding of what's going on in the game but I want to turn it over to Skylar to hear his thoughts first. well I it was kind of fun. I love first off I love the aesthetic I love going into the jet the uh, poker center and seeing all my Pokemon displayed on the screen and I really like that stuff I love I love how that is very streamlined catching Pokemon in the grass feels the same like all that stuff what really got me was the trial they had you play through at the beginning where you have to take pictures of the dragon type Pokemon which felt extremely like Yokai Watch and to me it was one of the more side boring questy. huh? super side, side questy super side questy and utterly boring in my yep. opinion I don't believe boring I, I don't like that kind of gameplay like in Yokai Watch you're like searching the screen for these little ghosts or whatever, like little yokai all over the screen. It's the same thing with the picture camera. It's slow, kind of obtuse. I don't really like it that much. And if... I hope that's only like one challenge in the game, because if that's multiple challenges, that is going to kill the the process for me. But, I mean, that's just a personal thing. My thoughts on that is that if you've ever played Yokai Watch, you know that's a way to get some of the Yokai is that you search, you look around, and it's kind of like you're taking a picture of the Yokai. Right. Um, and that's similar to what the Pokemon is. So I really do think they kind of took that what Yokai was doing and said, hey, we can put that into a Pokemon game. Yeah. Some people say, oh, it's more like Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap is fun. <laughs> Thank okay, you, James. <laughs> that was fun. Nail it on the head right there. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree, though. <laughs> this was like all, all right, and if if it's like a thing you could just do by yourself, like you know the beauty contest, whatever, that's fine. But having to force the players to do it, that's good. That's to be yeah. hard sell. And if there's only Pokemon that you can find through these Which, picture that's, events, I don't think that's true. I don't think that that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I, I really no. don't think so. We have, I don't think so. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why you think that's the because case. Because the dragon was the only one that you could find. Right, but that's just, in the, that's just in the but demo. But then you, I could, hope so. you couldn't right. go back. I think it's just in the demo. I hope so. You couldn't go back and find those Pokemon again in the cave. So you can't find any more dragons. No, that's not what I'm saying. It's What I, what I mean to say is it, since you can't go back and find those same Pokemon again... That means that there's gonna have to be another place for them to appear. They're not. Mm. It's not a legendary. It could or be like a legendary thing. Yeah, but I I doubt I, it with I, that I, type I of Pokemon. Doubt it. It, I really do. I don't think so. It has it, it is, has three stages not. of evolution or two yeah. stages of evolution. And this so, is this yeah. is the Pokemon that's in the same <laughs> slot as it's like Noivern. Tyranitar and Dragonite and Noivern. Uh, Noivern and Gudra. I can't remember which one. Gudra probably. I think Gudra. Oh, was that's right. Pseudo. It's probably Gudra. Gudra. X had two. Gudra, yeah, that's right. X they, had they, had, they had two. So it'd be Gudra legends. and then Hydreigon, or no? no Hydreigon was actually no, Hy- no. Hydreigon no. was no. black and white. Black and white. That's what I mean. For, I'm sorry, about fifth gen. That's what I'm saying. Like it takes the same slot as Hydreigon. Yeah, yeah. The pseudo legend slots, and then third gen also had two with 
Metagross and Salamence. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 But okay. I, I do understand the frustration of the camera. It is really slow. There are ridiculous frame drops and everything. Extreme frame drops. But at the same time, I kind of liked that it was a step away from everything else in Pokemon. I don't know. It maybe, maybe it's just. What's well, the whole maybe forcing? I'm crazy. It's forcing the whole forcing that Yeah. It just it feels. Um, but if you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. You know? Yeah. It, it, I don't know. And the Z move that they let you use felt super overpowered. Oh, I hate it. Well, that. you were Z way gonna... too powerful. Like, Your Pokemon. They gave you the ridiculous. freaking Greninja, Ash Greninja. Ash Ninja. I beat the Totem Pokemon in like a turn and a half. Yeah. And you could crit it and never see the Pokemon that it spawns. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah, they, it was. Yeah. The demo wasn't balanced well, and I don't think that's actually ga- that's actual gameplay. Whatsoever. No, it's not. No. So, but I just thought it's funny. I was like, this you Pikachu I, with that. one Thunderbolt, I could have taken out that gold out with this Pikachu. Why do I need a Z move? In? <laughs> like, so uh, I don't understand. How does this canonically like fit into the actual game? It doesn't. It's it doesn't. It's completely made up. It's made well, up. Well, like, it's like before before the the events of. Of I mean, the actual game. Okay. I don't yeah. know if we'll and, but see it, the I don't think it's the actual kid. It's like a separate kid. Like, but not yeah. you. It, it's before the game, but... Because it's before you get your Pokemon. Plus, they don't let you choose your name, so his name is just Sun. So it's right. It, it's a different... Kid. It's a different... Yeah, it's a random kid. Random kid. It's, it's probably, a different kid? It's a random but kid. They it's not you. They wouldn't change his appearance model. That would just take too much time. Huh. I don't know. As Weird. far as, as I understand. Yeah, that, that's I, all I understand. filler in the games. It's filler. It's filler. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the story is amazing. This side quest felt like filler. Can, can <laughs> I say, though, that the uh, biggest highlight, I think the biggest highlight from Sun and Moon, Team Skull. Yeah, and Team Skull is great. Mm. They're all like hand like gestures. Little, uh, hand gestures, <laughs> like, I you help you mess with us, huh? I couldn't help but laugh. Like, the first thing, they it came up so and they're just like, uh, 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 and I was it's just like, typical Japanese like, What are you doing? I love it. <laughs> I, I love it. It, it's great. I love seeing my player on the screen as I'm doing battles. I That's love cool. seeing that. Oh, yeah. And I really do like the UI down on the bottom screen. I hate the walking animation. The walking animation? <laughs> he looks dumb. Like when he goes Be to the girl. garage. He looks really dumb. Choose, it looks like his like, chest <laughs> is out forward. <laughs> choose the girl then. She's better. Is she? Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, it, it's a, I like I like the UI as well. I think it works. I like having seeing both Pokemon sprites on the bottom. I think that's cool, and I like how every one of the characters is like full body, like their full height. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, so yeah. Chibi, no more no more chibi sprite, which is nice. character models in the overworld. It reminds me of Colosseum and um, XD. Gale of yeah, yeah. So XD, I like the Gale chibi of Darkness. sprites. I think they look better. The sprites? I the think they're cute. Sprites. I like sprites. But I also really like seeing what my character actually looks it like. Lo- I don't know. The char- the full-grown sprites just seem awkward. Really? The main, mm-hmm. Maybe it's just the guy. Maybe it's just the boy. The main character, though, looks really freaking awkward. He does look kind of awkward. I mean, it, it is cool. Maybe he'll it. look cooler with a different haircut or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it I is, just need to play the female. It is cool to see, like, the, you know, the, the model and have it not be sized. I just... I guess it's more nostalgia. It's like I just like having the chibi guy, and I'll be honest, I like two D Pokemon better than three D. That's yep. that's my opinion. But I, well, I guess you have okay. five like gens sprites. of it. I like the I'm not I'm not that's a fan because I was a huge fan of like Pokemon like Durant and Galvantula because yeah. they're like menacing. <laughs> they ruined it in three D. And then in the three D, they're like uh, these little dots on the screen. Hi. I'm only How? a big Pokemon. That's so funny because like the big selling point for Battle Revolution on the Wii for me was that I got to see my Pokemon in life sizes. So it's like but I got to see my Whale Lord just like tower that's over true. this that's like true. with Durant's size change. It it took Durant from like in my top maybe twenty Pokemon of all time favorites to off the radar. Like, oh really? Yeah, so, it, it really killed it for me. That new uh, Wimpod evolution guy, though. Wow! Yeah, holy cow! That looks cool. Oh, so are we get. Okay. Oh are yeah, we done sorry. talking about the. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we are. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, it, cool. it, 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 it was a good it was a good demo. Much. It was really short, in my opinion. Uh, they should have done demo more. Was way better. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Rhea Sapphire Sapphires. Abs- so yeah. <laughs> that one was beyond phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. there are more events. Phenomenal. There are more events that will happen in the next coming days in the demo, but I don't feel like it's worth it because it's just going to be like, oh, we'll go talk to this person and you get another item. 
I don't want to do really? more demo. I already played through it once. Why isn't all of them just one demo? <laughs> I don't want to take more pictures. I don't know. <laughs> you, you talk to someone like What's in that? the town, and they're like, "Come see me in two days or something." Uh, when do I get my Ash Ninja on my Pokemon bank? You can actually. <laughs> so what happens with that is when you have the cartridge put into the 3DS, if you talk to the person inside the the uh, Pokemon Center, oh. he'll transfer your items over to that cartridge. Okay, so I'll start so. Pokemon Sun and Moon with an Ash Ninja and a Super Potion. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, That's another way. small thing to note: super potions are now sixty HP instead yeah. of fifty. What? Yeah. No. Also, if you Stop do it. buy the special edition with the both cartridges, you get a hundred free Pokeballs for both games. What? What? Yeah. So I'm going. Oh. That's actually not, I don't, I don't. no. It's nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice because then if you just go through and catch everything, you know, I was like, okay, hey, I'm gonna, <laughs> you get a Pokemon because I'm, I'm buying both copies off the special edition. Right. One of them's gonna be my Nuzlocke game. One's gonna be the one that I catch Pokemon on. Right. So I'm gonna immediately transfer all 100 of those Pokeballs to the other. That one. is gonna be so slow because <laughs> you have so. to give them to the Pokemon to no! hold them. <laughs> Maybe you can just use 100 codes. Pokeballs in my Nuzlocke run. Well, then That's trash true. them, sell them, but. It's a free item that I'll never get again. I don't it's know. True. Go catch a ton of Pokemon that you need to evolve and then move them up to bank or something. My, I guess I'm cat, I'm it. not doing a Nuzlocke run. Round Sun, one. Sun is probably going to be my my uh, permanent and then Moon will be my replay one just because the timing is the same in Sun as real life. So, But anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I like Moon more. Let's go to the data I mean, leaks. Moon looks cool, sure. So data but, leaks. Um... There's a lot. Uh, the bit uh, the, we didn't get to see that very many new Pokemon. Yeah, I'm slightly disappointed. Um, there are what 74, 74, 74 Pokemon. In, yeah, in the Alolan region. That's yeah. fine. Uh, not including I legendaries, guess. or was that including legendaries? I can't remember how. I, I don't remember how what the up. exact numbers are. But yeah. It's about eighty. So there's about eighty-ish Pokemon. There's eight Ultra Beasts. Uh, two of them are exclusive, depending on your version. It's like Beauty, is Sun, and what is the other one? Power, uh, the strength, or strength. Or yeah. I don't remember. Oh, absorption. Expansion. Yeah, expansion. Expansion yeah, is. is the is moon. And so. And then there's no no. no, no then, sorry, switch those. Yeah, you're and right. And then there are it's two. Right. And then there are two <laughs> more that we were were revealed in the data leaks, right? That are region or game exclusive. I don't know if they're game exclusive. I don't think they are. Game okay, exclusive. well, never mind. But I there are there are seven ultra beasts. We don't know how many of these are event based either. Right. If, yeah. If um. Yeah, they might just be from side quests and all that stuff. I'm thinking that the Elite Four has been replaced by you have to fight each Ultra Beast in succession. Oh, jeez. Um, How strong are they then? Jeez. I think at the end game they'll be pretty powerful. Wow. I bet they're like the, the totem Pokemon where they can bring in other Pokemon with them. Yeah. And then you fight oh, them like that. That's a... Wow. Look so, that. um... Catching totems. We got to see the final evolutions of a lot of Pokemon. Uh, there weren't any new families, I think, in... Families? Like like, like new Pokemon new Pokemon families. families. <gasps> like breeding pool or what? No, 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 no. no, no. Like, like So, like, Caterpie's evolution Caterpie's line like... is considered a family. Oh. Yeah, there, there was... There they was have the Wimpod like and the other thing. No, well, well, Wimpod already we already knew like about. one form There's of a couple here. Let me oh. pull them up. Oh, with the cactus thing. The ca- the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cactus they they one. There's another bug one. Can I just say, Wimpod's... Evolution is the most boss. Oh it's man, I love so bug crazy. Pokemon so much. Someone, <laughs> said, someone said that it's like the Gyarados of this generation. It's so Meaning beautiful. that it goes from like the, the wimpy Maybe thing. Will. Yeah. To, Wimpod's to the big ability world. is terrible. He just runs away if his HP gets too low. <laughs> I'm calling mine Rock Lobster. Dude, that Rock would be lobster. so hard to catch too because if you hit it at a certain percent, it just runs away. Oh, I'll catch one. It'll yeah. be on my team. Just, just, great, just ball. Great, great ball it or he, something. It, I, that... And the Komodo dragon are my two favorite this generation. Yeah, and I do Komodo like dragon. the Grandpa dragon as well. I like Grandpa yeah, dragon. I like a lower than Raichu. I think he's pretty chill. I'm a little disappointed with. Anyway, anyway, I don't think I finished all the stats. Okay. So, um, what was it? So there were 74 Pokemon, plus the eight Ultra Beasts, and then I think it was nine legendaries, including Zygarde, in the game. Yeah, with um, baby slash prior forms to Silverleo yeah. and Lunala. And weird. Marshadow. Yeah, we saw but Marshadow. We, did, we didn't get the final evolution of Marshadow, though. Yeah. Who's so Marshadow again? The Eclipse Pokemon. Oh. The third it's one. The, it's the dark one, the very yeah, last the one in that image. Guy? Yeah. We but got his Marshadow. tiny form. That's Marshadow. So that means we might still get more Pokemon because we don't even have the final evolution for um, Marshadow. 
Right. And there are sprites missing in the list oh, revealed. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. It could be because of gender <clears throat> differences. Ah. But there is some spots where it looks like an entire family is missing. Okay. Okay. So here, here's a or question two. I have. By the way, here's the, the one that we haven't even seen before the family. Oh, okay. So the right weird, here. like, ice crab thing. Yeah, ice crab looking thing. Dude, I want a crab on my team. That'd be so oh, sick. Oh, and um, there were, like, two other Pokemon that we didn't get from that Chinese leak that has been right so far. Except for Water or Canine doesn't exist. That's true. Or no, they're in Kazam. That's true. Never mind. Never mind. There's this I guy, just, too. I remember there were a couple of other guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. The the jellyfish bug thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't we know. don't have names for these, so it's no, hard to describe on a really podcast. It's hard to describe them, but if you want to look at the leaks, because we're already talking about them, go take a look at it. Um, so I do have a question about... Oh, gosh. What was I going to say? Well, I don't So know. there's over 300 Pokemon total in the Pokedex for the Lolan okay. Pokedex. Okay. Okay. Um, and That's then only number. 80 of them are new. So roughly about one third of the Pokemon you're going to find are going to be Alolan Pokemon. Yep. And then that's not including the Alolan forms, which I believe there was like, oh, I can't remember the na- the number right now. But 14? We got, we got some 14. new ones. We got some new Alolan forms from that. We got Geodude's family. 18, 18, awesome. Alolan, 18 form, Alolan forms. Because they've got like I don't mustaches. Like, I don't like Geodude's family. And then Team we also Skull's got... Team a lot of Geodudes. <laughs> yeah, they probably will. <laughs> But uh, we Maybe. also got um, Diglett and Dugtrio Which with their luscious also hair. <laughs> Jeez, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm really anyway. upset it's because Golem and Dugtrio were two of the Alolan forms I wanted the most. I wanted Golem to be this molten rock that would have been, just so been like cool. so boss looking and making Golem finally relevant. And then have Dugtrio, because the sand is really hot, he's out of his hole running around. With like a thing of sand, like what are you talking about? He has, still has a beach bod. He just oh, has man. long hair to go with it. There was no reason. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing new about <laughs> this the, the trio. The sun made the gla- the the sand yeah, so high. Yeah, it I, it's just a joke. <laughs> to be honest. That's all it is. It's just a joke. Yeah. I'm definitely not using either of them in my team. But and Persian's no. face, Persian's <laughs> no. face, oh, Persian Ugh. looks so <laughs> bad. So Garfield. Persian got probably the most change out of all the Alolan forms. Yeah, and it's the worst one of them all. Worst. It's like Garfield. Field. Purple yeah. Garfield. I thought it was fake when I saw it. Yeah, right? yeah same. It's like, is this a Pokemon? <laughs> I didn't even think it was Persian. I was like, that's a dumb looking new cat. That, that, Wait, that's that, Persian. Persian. Yeah. That, that, Persian yeah. that Persian was the first one that I saw oh. in those in the leaks, and I was like, okay, these leaks have to be fake. Like somebody fabricated these, and I'm like, oh, it's just that one looks really dumb. But I think yeah. that my favorite has probably has to be Marowak. Marowak sweet. Uh, Raichu Marowak is really cool too. I, I, like I, like I personally really like the Alola and Vulpix. Oh yeah, I like too. And Nine Nine Tails. Tails my too. my favorite Alola form so far is Executor. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to use an Executor. <laughs> really? We get Dragon man. Grass type. That's, <laughs> that's that, Dragon. That also Watch me. out for Ice Beam. I just ran uh, yeah. through Ulrus not too long ago. And you will be surprised how many Pokemon have access to Ice Beam. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But um, I didn't run through Oris with a fire type, so that last fight against Steven was so hard. Oh, he always steel that types. last fight with Steven is pretty difficult. He doesn't have all steel types. It's well, all over the spectrum. I couldn't beat his Metagross with like his anything. His Metagross is insane. His that bullet punch is just... Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I had to use my Snorlax because he had a fighting move. <laughs> I'm just... I'd use know, my Infernape. It's cool to see all these <laughs> like, it over. previous Pokemon, but... I, what I loved about Gen 5 was that you got like a hundred odd some new Pokemon. So many new Pokemon. I guess Yeah, I but can't Gen 5 kind of overdid it. You think so? I was really hoping for 128. I think Gen 4 overdid because it. I was well, really, Gen 5 had more than Gen 4. I was really hoping for 128 because that means Gen 8 would only need to put in 151 to make an even 1,000. Oh. And 151 would have been a great way to close it off. Yeah. Yeah, so... There's Pokemon. But that game is coming out. Sun and Moon is coming out in Less a couple of weeks. I mean, yep. it's going to be good. I'm excited for it. Oh, 28 days? Something like that, yeah. So, four that's weeks. That's really close. 30-day Go get calendar. It. Show your support. Love Pokemon. We love Pokemon. You should, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at all the Pokemon. Tell us what ones are your favorite, but you're all wrong if you don't say Wimpod's final edition. <laughs> you're all wrong. You're all wrong. Watch out for wrong. fire types. He looks like Steel Bug. <laughs> no, I think he's Water Bug. You think he's Water Bug? I think he's Water Bug. That'd be, that, he looks that'd be Steel, cool though. Evo. 
He's Wimpod's already water bug. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Well, that would that would be. And nice. he's the same coloration as. So Wimpod he's like is. a surskit sur- typing then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Except he also looks like a really bulky water bug. So yeah, he's awesome. like super bulky. He's like, holy cow. I, I, think, I think he's more defensive. I want stats. I want stats. For reals. Yeah. That would be a nice combination, actually, a water bug. Mm-hmm. That you could take down psychics with that. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. Water bugs is not a bad combination. Yep. All right, cool. Well, I think that's it then. Yep. Huh? We talked about everything that we needed to talk about. The Switch looks amazing. We've talked about that for a long time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sun and moon... We're excited Retro. for the demo was really lackluster, but it was exciting. Um, yeah, do you guys have any final thoughts to share with our listeners before we end? Please give me a DLC package with gyms. <laughs> <laughs> I want gyms. I want gyms. I just hope the story is good. Like, if you're not gonna have gyms, at least have a good story. Yeah, we'll see. We'll all see. Right. I just don't know why you can't have both. Oh, team round all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that's the other thing. The final evolutions that were leaked last June, confirmed. Rowlet. I... Ah, yeah. I've been Team Rowlet since the beginning. The very first time he was shown, I was like, Team Rowlet. It's true. And then true. you saw the other two, I'm like, those are ugly. <laughs> I... Fire, Rowlet fire, just, Rowlet just again. has that emo, like, weirdo stage in the middle, but then, then he's cool. It's like a teenage <laughs> phase, you know? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> freaking, freaking Archer. Ow. Nintendo. Assassin's Creed. Sakurai. <laughs> Make him the representative for Smash Bros. for this generation. That'd be really cool. That's probably what they're thinking. Because they then, be. then we have Charizard, Greninja, and Rowlet. And so is. then we have the three in Smash Bros. Yeah. And then Bulbasaur. And then Bulbasaur. I Squirtle personally don't think any of the Squirtle Squirtle are like good. We were in Smash <laughs> once. <laughs> When it comes back, Could just bring back Squirtle and Ivysaur anyway. <laughs> Instead of Pokemon from this, season. I'm fine with that. No, just just. I was add an them Ivysaur in. main just back in me, Project M. Sure. In the Project M, yeah, when they were separate. Yeah, that's fine with me. Just add yeah. Them in. Well, cool. I guess that does it then for this week's episode of the Virtual Boys Podcast. Again, I was David, accompanied today with Skyler, Jordan. James. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> whatever. Uh, <laughs> he was. He pointed at me. I didn't want to be last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan, I will point at you last next time. You can go first next time. You, 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 you can go me. before me. I'm just kidding. He's punching me repeatedly. Stop, stop it. it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, uh, He's don't touching forget. Me. He's touching me. <laughs> Don't forget to check us out online at Virtual Boys, Virtual Boys, Virtual Boys XYZ. Um, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Please leave us an iTunes review. Uh, that would really help us get the show out to more people and let us know how we're doing. You can send us messages. You can get in contact with us and all that stuff's on our website. And we'll catch you next time. So we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Goodbye, all you good people.